uh, controller, sound card, mixer, and uh, software all bundled in one. This is going to be out in April. Yeah, uh, in the streets of April, it was announced yesterday for the first time ever. So, uh, press kits are over there. You saw those, yeah? yeah. Um, so essentially, you've got it's a it's, it's it starts as a two deck controller and then expands out to a four deck controller with the shift key. So you select your songs. Let's see. Well, we'll do videos. This is more fun. All right, I picked a song. I'm going to load it over to our, our right deck here. And I'll put my headphones on, and I'm going to get right behind the first beat where I want to be. Queuing up. Okay, there we are. So that song didn't actually have a break. I made my own break out of a one beat loop of the other song. It ends cold. I didn't want it to end cold, so I made my own break out of it. And you can do that with four beats, two beats, whatever you can capture on the fly, creating your own loops on one and two. Let me go through the effects with you. One. So that's one and two on here. You can stack the effects up. This will go until I let it go on two and it comes back. Back spin and a loop. Stacked on top of each other. Hit the shift, you got more effects. I believe this was the beat grid. Next four beats to go through this process. Flange. And then the effect is adjustable here, more or less on the flange. And then we have a break effect. If you let it go all the way to the end, it stops, or you can use it just as an effect. If it sounds like it's slowing down, please don't drink anymore. Just mess with your audience. Backspin, same story. You go all the way, it goes to a stop. Or you can use it as an effect. Let's say you've got a song uh, that you're, you're playing in front of a, a mixed ages crowd, but you know it's got language in there that some people wouldn't appreciate. So know exactly where it is and spin it out every time they hit that word. Screw it that way. It's an effect. Navigation through your files here, main volume here, tone controls here. This is how you can make some interesting kind of filter type effects when you get yourself a loop. That's kind of like how I mixed out the last one. This gives that kind of trippy vibe when you when you can't combine these things out. And then the wheel, this one's not fully functional because this is a prototype, just in time for the show. The wheel will go either a scratch or a slow it down, kind of a, a drag your finger along the record, if you go back to that analogy, or push it a little faster. Or scratch. And it'll be touch sensitive as these are over here. And I'll show you on that one if you want. That was fully functional, this one's like 90% functional. And then your headphone selects are here, and then your volume is here, your headphone mix is here. So you can have a mixture of what's going out to the audience and whichever you're... You can have both selected, so you're, you're hearing 100% of both channels you're queuing. Whichever way you want to go. And then when you use your shift key, you can go to a Dex uh, C and D. For example, I have something in C over here that I'm just going to use as a sample. Oh, got to do the cross. This is Wynn's favorite. She loves Jersey Shore. T-shirt time. T-shirt time. 